Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, online grocery ordering system. And I have developed this project in Node.js, MySQL, and for front end I have used uh, Angular. On the Angular side, for designing part, I have used HTML, CSS. And uh, this is a bootstrap theme, and this is a partial uh, responsive theme. Means it will work on different screens like mobile, tab, and desktop or laptop, right? For ID, we are using Visual Studio Code and for Port, we are using Port 4200 for Angular application and Port 5000 for Node.js. For the versions, we are using Node.js uh, 14 versions and Angular version is 8 and MySQL version is 5.6. For packages, there are a lot of packages we are using and all of the packages information you will get in package.json, right? And we are using npm packages for connecting mysql with node.js so these all technology stacks configurations and id we are using for developing this project online grocery ordering system so let's start with the functionality go through what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project and what modules are available right so once you run this project the project will run on port 4200 and this is a mini project which has only customer operations customer login and customer registration customer can place orders customer can see their orders right there is no admin functionality there is no admin login status split because this is a mini project but if you need admin functionality too we will develop it right just put it in put it into the comments so this is the home page of the project you can see this is home page and some of the categories are coming on the home page you can see pulse oil rice garam masala tea and vegetables right these all categories are coming from the database this is about page and this is a static page this is a category and all of the categories are coming from the database this is a customer login from where customer can log in and customer can place the order this is a registration if customer doesn't have the user id and password then customer can register from here and he can create their he can create his user id and password this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a feedback page and this is also a static page there is nothing dynamic on it so once you click on the category and if you click on the category then you will be able to see all of the product belongs to that category right once you click on the details you will be able to see the details of that category right you can see this is a product code right so this is a generic product you can change it from the database right so you can add it to the cart but there is a restrictions you can't add item into the cart without login right so just login and after that you can buy the product right if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here you can create your own user id id and password and after that using that user id and password you can register you can log in so the current user id and password i'm using is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test so once you log in then you will get the dashboard you can see this is a customer dashboard right so you can see home about us order now my orders right so once you click on the my orders you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed earlier right you can click on this and after that you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed that you can see these are the orders which you have placed and the total amount right these are the order details and date and all right so these are the my order space now i'm going to buy some of the products so pulses add into the cart details and add cart right so i have added one categories and this one foil so details add into cart so i have added two items you can go on that page continue adding and vegetables so this is details and add into the cart so i have added three items into the cart right so you can see total amount i need to pay is 300 rupees once you click on the checkout then you will get a card details page this is a dummy page there is nothing real on it no need of entering any type of real credit card just into dummy data right so i am entering any dummy data name on the card and then are type expiry date expiry month and make payment once you click on the make payment you will your order will be placed and you can see your order number 11 has been placed 
right and these are the order items and total amount you have paid is 300 rupees on 19th of march right so this is the order details page you can see your all order history in the my orders page right you can see this is order number 11 and once you click on this you will be able to see the order details page right and with the order items the last thing is the logout once you click on the logout all of the session will be destroyed and these my administration and dashboard will not be displayed you can see the my administration and dashboard is not displaying because it's rendering according to the user session you can see it's displaying now logout is not displaying because it's rendering according to the session so these all functionalities we have developed inside this great online grocery ordering system and as i told you earlier this is a mini project which has customer functionalities only and we have developed this project in node.js mysql and angular so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more beta and beta according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much